So, you love talk radio, then you'll love TalkStreamLive.com. TalkStream Live is always on, 24-7, with the best streaming talk shows. Find your favorite talkers and discover some new ones. It's free, readily available online, or on any smartphone or tablet. Finding your favorite talk shows all in one place has gotten a whole lot easier. Just go to TalkStreamLive.com. Be sure to download the free apps from Google Play or the iTunes App Store. Go to Antique Obsessions for the hottest in jewelry, antiques, repurposed, solid sterling silver, one-of-a-kind, handmade by Bruce and Jaja. Go to uh, our Facebook, which is Antique Obsessions, or you can go to Etsy.com and go to Antique Obsessions, one word, or type it into your Google and find us there. Thanks. Tribal, primitive, rustic, burning man, punk rock. Conceptual subculture for the edgiest, most cutting edge designs of jewelry today. Go to Etsy.com slash shop slash conceptual subculture. Or one word, either by going to Google or search Etsy, E-T-S-Y dot com and type in one word, conceptual subculture. You will find the hottest designs using natural stones with wire wrap rings, rough, raw, genuine, semi-precious gemstone jewelry, solid sterling silver, copper, leather, organite, bracelets, pendants, chokers, men's copper cups with sterling accents, eco-friendly, repurposed, original, one-of-a-kind design earrings. Support MBN by going to Conceptual Subculture on Etsy. Yo, what's the Warning, warning, everything I say is fucking crazy and should not be reinterpreted or reenacted because you will be either shot or MDAA'd. Warning. Trump has CNN in a figure four leg lock and they're about to tap out. One, two, three. So depressed. I don't know what to do. Hey, go for it, man. It's easy for you to say you got the promotion. Look, it'll come, all right? Just don't worry about it. The feeling is definitely there. It's a new morning in America. Fresh, vital. The old cynicism is gone. We have faith in our leaders. You're listening to the excellence of Radio Execution, broadcasting from when the tumbleweeds roam. This is Bruce Montalvo. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it is July 3rd. Hope you enjoyed your weekend. It's the 4th of July weekend, and you're listening to the Bruce Montalvo Show, and the media is in a total uproar. They have their panties in the bunch because Trump literally clotheslined CNN. He took CNN, he put them in a headlock, and he punched the shit out of them. No, wait. That was just a parody. It was a parody of the WrestleMania 29, I believe, where Trump clotheslined Vince McMahon and kicked Vince McMahon's ass. He, like, kicked his monkey ass all over the place. Right. You see, it's funny because wrestling's supposed to be fake, right? So he's wrestling with the fake news. You see, it's funny. Trump's funny. He's a funny guy. I like Trump. Anyway, it's July 3rd, 2017, and you're listening to the almighty, the all-powerful, the all-goddamn-fucking-mega-alpha-male Bruce Montalvo. And I'm joined by my co-host, the very hot, very wonderful... She's like an angel with a harp, not that harp, 
Uh, but uh, yeah, she's great. She's 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 right here. I'm joined mm. by yes, Jaja. Ja. Estoy aquí. Estoy aquí. Finally, where the hell have you been? Working. Working. Now you make you make me sound like I'm a bum. Like I don't work. Like all I do is this radio thing. No, you work. I work my ass off. We work around here. Anyway, look, Trump has become bigger than Andre the Giant and Hulk Hogan combined. <laughs> yeah. Was, what do you think of that? Yeah, he's bigger than Jesse Ventura. He's bigger than Jesse Ventura. His muscles are bigger than Jesse Ventura. He's got presidential muscles. I think Jesse Ventura set the stage for guys like Trump because, you know, he came out of wrestling and he immediately, and then he got into politics and he was very well respected. And I think that guys like Jesse Ventura, um, you know, well spoken, you know, he's so. I don't know, though. He was, he's kind of lost his mind. He's like America's weird uncle. He went around, like, endorsing Bernie for a little while. I think he smoked some bad weed. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, whatever. Everybody has their, maybe he likes He's coming it. around, though. I, I think he's coming around. You know what? You can't always believe everything that comes out of their mouths, either, because... That's right, Bruce. I was the governor of uh, Minnesota. I was a fighter, a Navy SEAL. Yeah, I mean, he just set precedent for a guy like Trump, whether he spoke about it or not. Look, Trump knows all the big boys. Look at him right here holding a, a World Wrestling Federation title. He's right there kicking it with Andre the Giant and Hulk Hogan. He knows Ted DiBiase, the million-dollar man. The million-dollar man ain't got shit on Trump. Trump's a billion-dollar man, right? Right. So he knows them all. He knows Kevin Nash. He knows Scott Hall. Look at him shaving McMahon's head while Maddo just looks in, like, disgust. I'm disgusted at her. Aren't you disgusted? Look at that dyke haircut. Look, let me say something. CNN Jamie is Jamie Lee Curtis? CNN, she kind of looks like a doppelganger, right? Right, right. Look, like let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. CNN is gay. I'm going to take it back to, like, when I was in high school, and we'd go around and be like, dude, that's gay. Mm. Like, you're gay, dude. Like, mm. dude, stop being gay. Like, dude, what you just said was totally gay. So guess what? CNN is gay. I don't care. I don't care what they want to... They want to get the, what, the, the, the PC police is going to come and handcuff me. I don't really get it. In a, a non-sexual way. They just fucking gay. No, they're totally gay. Look, because, because he's the most dorky. awesome president, period. Look at him chilling with macho man Randy. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you something about Donald Trump, brother. Oh, yeah. It's Trump madness. Look at him. You see him? Look at him. Trump Plaza. You know what's so funny about Trump is that he's such a character and he's so right. He's like, there's nobody bigger than him. No, but they're saying that he's promoting violence. Oh, oh my God. God he's about promoting. to incite a, a riot. How is he promoting violence? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're promoting violence. I mean, did, did they forget what Snoop did? Snoop literally pulled oh, out forget a about fucking... Snoop. Just forget. What about, what about the play? Just forget about Snoop. What are you you're making? No, a new, just uh, say it. Because he's a fucking rapper. You can't really, you know, put him on the same level, okay? But you can, you know, talk about... All the other types of hate, even the malicious uh, verbal judo that Maxine Waters and, you know, all these scum fuckers that kept saying shit about, you know, he's going to be impeached and he's crazy and, you know, she should take him down. And Trump is el gran enmascarado americano. <laughs> he put on the freaking Mexican luchador mask and you just mentioned that baseball mitt face looking freaking Maxine Waters. Uh, you know, I think she's drunk off of uh, Colt 45. I mean, what's she saying out there in, in L.A. hanging out with the bum saying what? What's she saying? Colt 45? What's she saying? Impeach Colt 45! Impeach Colt 45! Colt 45! You hear that shit? Colt 45? What, she, what a drunk! Or, or what does she want to do? She wants to whip out a real Colt 45 and, and cap Donald Trump? Well, that's what they want. Yeah. I mean, she's over there, she's drunk as fuck, drinking Colt 45, talking about capping Donald Trump. That's, that's what you get with that baseball mitted face, Maxine Waters. But Trump was right, though. He Despicable. Said that, that they just love him so much. They love to hate him, and they love to love him. So no, I mean, the crowds out there, I mean, they, they, they sound scary. They sound like this. They sound scary. They, they sound... There, there they go. They they sound very very scary. Mm -hmm. And the plays, the the the, the, uh, the heading, the beheadings. Oh, CNN is sponsoring that that Trump play in uh, Central Park. You know, with all those. Uh, oh, with such 
artistic people out there. CNN deserves everything that Donald dishes them because they tortured this motherfucker for seven fucking months. CNN is gay. Okay, they fucking lied on him. They shit talk him left and right. Okay, so I, I disagree. Yeah, he had to body slam the media. Literally, yeah, just body slam him. Ridiculous. They give no respect, okay? It was no, they give no respect. No fucking respect for this guy. If they they should have done that to Barack Obama, but no. They allowed Michelle Obama's fucking huge megalopolis fucking muscles to bust out of her neck, but nobody noticed. Well, I'm just glad they made the first lady great again because I wasn't even sure that the first lady was a lady last time. I don't think she, I really don't think she was. I mean, she must be like kind of hermaphrodite situation because nobody has that many muscles. And if they did, then the media should have taken note to it Mr. and Bobby. demanded her to show what she does in the fucking gym uh, and the goddamn muscles that God, fucking Mr. make. Bobby. Uh, I have bigger muscles than her, yeah. <laughs> no, really, but look, Trump is outsmarting the media, okay, because he's making them talk about Trump nonstop. Instead of talking about their bullshit uh, issues like global warming, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're talking about Trump. You did say something gay, right? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the <laughs> fake news on, and I mean, the characters they put on uh, with the little pink scarves and the Velcro the, hair. The lipsticks uh, and the eyeshadows on, like, man. <laughs> You know... <laughs> yeah, I went there. Yeah, okay. Oh, that was racist. You're a racist man. Anyway, what's up with the, <laughs> what's up with the impeachment hysteria? I mean, they, they, they're, they're literally... They want to impeach him over a parody video of him literally kicking Vince McMahon's ass, like just playing around like two boys roughhousing oh. in, in, in middle school. That's what, that's what it was. You know what I'm saying? And, and they want... They want to impeach him over this? Really? Good, they good think luck they can trying. Do it? Good luck trying... And good luck trying to say he's insane. The man is a is a mega genius, and you'd have to be able to prove your allegations. You can't just keep pointing fingers at the guy's mentally unstable. You have no idea what mentally unstable. He's never had a I'll history tell you, of. I tell you who's mentally unstable: bumbling idiots like Nancy Pelosi. And Pelosi. <laughs> you know? That's just fucking unstable. You know Anyway, anyway, look, I wanted to really touch on this, okay? I, I have a warning for any Trump supporter, okay? Uh, be careful where you wear your Make America Great hat and your shirt, your Trump shirt, because let's just say you go to uh, some seafood place and uh, you order the, the clam chowder and you're wearing the Trump shirt. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> don't, don't do that. Don't wear it. Don't wear it. Don't, I mean don't do that because I'm going to tell you what they're going to do to your clam chowder, okay? They're going to have... Julio, go in the back, go in the, he's, he's, he hasn't fucked in like a week, okay? And he's, his nutsack's heavy, and he's going to unload it into your clam chowder. Yes, you're going to have nut in your clam chowder. They're going to nut in their clam chowder. I know. No, no, you, you can't. It's, un, it's so scary these days, um, the way people are behaving, that, you know, the guy setting fire to the... The flag, just, 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 who the fuck is he? You know, just walks up to somebody. Yeah, private house. property. And yeah. he could just burn the flag. I mean, that's what we have. We have Antifa fucking pussies that, uh, they're being labeled as terrorist groups now. They should be. And, you know, you don't just never know. Somebody just might not like the fact that you're wearing a, your Trump plaza shirt. You know? Well, you know what? I wish they would, they would tell me something. Because you saw how I rocked it in Brooklyn, Right. And I'm big. All right? Judge is not attracted to pussy boys, all right? I am a big man, and I don't mean fucking round. I mean that my fucking arms are huge, all right? They're huge, okay? Her rulers can't even... You can't even rule my freaking arms, right? Can you measure my arms? No, they're, they're enormous. Okay, so I walked around in my Trump Plaza shirt, and actually I got props from, uh, from Trump supporters. And I got mad. I yelled at him, don't, don't cheer for, for politics. It's, it, it's a bipartisan big government establishment. So I'm just like a weirdo. They don't know if I like Trump or if I hate Trump. Actually, you know, I like Trump, but, but I hate the Republican Party. And, uh, because they're all Illuminati. Every, any po po political party is Illuminati. Right. But at least he's a good actor and a good showman. And, yeah. and he's funny. And he's, and he's sort of cool. And he's got a good... Uh, a good vision and, you know, overriding any kind of politic, political party. Just look at the man for what he is, you know. I mean, I, you know, I say this all the time, you know, I feel like a broken record. But 
I just feel like he's he's very underestimated. He's I don't understand why the left can't respect his accomplishments. Is it just that they're so fucking lazy that they and yeah, they don't work. That they, they don't and they're work. They're small minded that they can't really see that it doesn't really matter the level of uh, level of language that he's They hate the America and they're run by multinational corporations that are planning a coup of the United States and a takeover of the of the presidency. They want they either they're either going to try to kill him or or they they're going to try to just uh you know put so much bullshit out there like the Russia thing that that's finally it's finally gone. They're I mean, not going to kill CNN Donald reporters Trump. are getting fired because the Russia story, the Russia gate was was bullshit. I mean, it's backfiring on them. It's like someone went out and put a, the whipped cream pie right into freaking CNN's face. Just blah. That was really funny. I mean, FNN, fake news. And fraud, <laughs> fraud news network. Fraud news, yeah. Yeah, look, CNN wants to tell us what to do, what to think, what to feel. Like we're fucking communists, man. Huh? Fucking cockroaches. Yeah, I've been watching Scarface. <laughs> I can it's hear it. I've been watching Scarface. No, I've been having a fun... Uh, Fourth of July weekend marathon. Uh, I've been torturing Jaja with nonstop Star Wars movies. Nonstop. I mean, I was watching uh, from Phantom Menace to uh, to A New Hope, and then she was like, "Fine, please stop, please stop, mm -hmm. give, give me a break." So uh, she cut me off right before I got to my favorite. Da, yep. da, 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 da. Oh, that's right. It's all in her da, brain. Da. Okay, that's enough of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She cut me off right before I got to The Empire Strikes Back. But that's cool because that's how I'm going to celebrate the 4th of July, okay? I'm going to have The Empire Strikes Back and hopefully I don't get SWAT teamed and NDAA for being a fucking patriot on the 4th of July like Bill Cooper told me a long time ago. Yeah. But what does that guy know? He was like a mason and a demole and I don't even know if he's dead. I think, I, actually, I think I know him. I think I have his phone number and I talked to him once. I think he did. Yeah, though. I think I did. I think me. Well, why wouldn't Bill Cooper want to talk to El Gran Montalvo? I know. I'm the greatest of all time. It just it just looked like him, and I, I figured out that it probably was this one dude that... All right, that's enough of that. Right. Let's not go down the, the, the doppelganger uh, rabbit hole. Doppelganger. Because, because that's why we're not on, on Fox News or InfoWars, because they're afraid of our doppelgangers. Or they, they Actually, InfoWars loves them. They, they put your David Icke and Paul Joseph Watson is uh, David Icke's uh, son, doppelgangers, together, and, and Alex actually showed it to, like... The, the Info Wars universe yeah. on, on his Facebook Live. Yeah, I became like... While we were watching, like, they, I mean, they know, you know, they got amazing. like NSA yeah. and all that stuff, but, but they're the good guys. It's like the Jedi versus the Sith, so I'm pretty sure he's working with the, the Jedi Council, Alex Jones, a.k.a. Uh, Bill Hicks, my good buddy, and even he is like a freaking pro wrestler. He's like El Santo, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. El Santo de Info Wars. He's a complicated guy. He's a very complicated guy. You know that there's actually a wrestler that wrestles in Lucha Libre. That's I think his name is Sam Adonis or something like that. He's actually he puts on like a, a luchador mask with like a Trump toupee attached to it, and he <laughs> waves, and he waves a, an American flag with Donald Trump's face on it to the Lucha Libre AAA Mexican in Mexico to piss off the Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? So he's out there doing his thing. This is crazy. That's funny. It's funny. Anyway, it's like it's it's like a freaking WrestleMania over here. I mean, next thing you know, you're gonna be like punching me out, and I'm gonna be like choke holding me. You know, freaking no, it's a sleeper hold, Janine. Uh -huh. Sleeper hold, okay. Like I, I don't choke anything. I used to choke my my chicken, but now I don't do that anymore because I got you. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Anyway, let, let's get into some more serious. No, it's very topic. entertaining to watch. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's uh, to watch Trump's situation. I mean, can't you people respect that the the president is like an accomplished businessman? No, no, no. That just drives you crazy because you're so. Oh, it drives rich. them nuts. Why does it drive them nuts? I they mean, have Trump derangement syndrome, like your mother. Yeah, I don't understand. The guy has proven himself to be a successful businessman who makes very conscientious decisions and he's classy I don't care that you think that he's trashy it doesn't really matter that's your fucking opinion you know who's he's fucking trashy Spike Lee okay guys like Spike Lee are fucking trashy alright guys like Spike Lee are scum guys like Donald Trump are high fucking class How yeah, about and that? Barack Obama that man was tacky you see, nobody, everybody thought he was so um, austere and like debonair and respectable. In fact, he was the biggest fucking phony. He had probably had a 70 
uh, a grade point average in high school. Please show yeah, me his fucking high school records. Son of a bitch got D's and C's. He did? The freaking dunce. I knew it. I bet, I bet you. Because he's not so fucking smart. And, and here's another thing, folks. Obama warns Americans about too much patriotism on the 4th of July. Huh? He just won't go away, that freaking bastard Obama, okay? While most Americans are gathering with family and community this weekend, Obama is still up the American people's asses. Now they're telling, you know, he's telling us not to, uh, not to be too patriotic. Can you believe that? <laughs> I don't know why he keeps talking. Why doesn't he disappear like the, like the old presidents did in the past? Why does it... Why doesn't he just freaking go away? I mean, he, Do something he, he goes over like a fart in church. Hey, Barry, Satoro, go go find a hobby. Get the fuck out of politics. You had nothing to say or do when you were here. So you didn't accomplish anything except steal homes from the American people out of Fannie and Freddie with the fucking Obamacare. $8.1 million home, I mean, $7.1 million book deals. Who the fuck does this guy think he is? I think he needs to be arrested. I don't care if there's an endless civil war. I want him arrested now! Yeah, but you shouldn't call for that because then he can come around and try to arrest you, you know? I'm just saying... That, you know, because he still has a lot of power, Bruce, you know? You know, I'm just saying He's that... He's not as powerful as the Bruce Montalvo. If I took him on in the street, I would kick his monkey ass all over it. Yeah. yeah That's but, right, I'm German now. <laughs> but he was not... He would not... Uh, he wouldn't engage, you know? I would love to play Barack Obama a game of basketball. I would kick his ass. Yeah? I would kick his fucking ass. I'd like to see that. You'd like to see that? Are you kidding me? I have, like, a Kobe Bryant fadeaway. <laughs> I do it. You, you don't know me. I think Barack Obama should like. Yo, I go back to like. I no, please stop giving people bad ideas. Look, I go back it's to like. Than being in politics. Excuse me. I go back to the days of like Shaquille O'Neal and Hakeem Olajuwon. So I would ball Obama up. Exactly. He should make a, ra a rap album like. You Shaquille, know what I would do? Like Shaquille O'Neal. No. Oh my I, God, that thing was so awful. Exactly, but that's how it would be. And that's exactly what he should do. He had so many fucking rappers. I think you're the only one that knows that he put out a rap album. I mean, everybody forgot because it was so bad. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> Barack Obama had so many fucking nobody rappers. I'm not talking about Jay-Z. I'm talking about the nobodies. Let me tell you something. Barack Obama's face would beat up my balls. What do you mean? You yeah. know what I mean. We I would ball him up with my balls. Uh, want, do, 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 do. I don't understand. It's a joke. Uh, it's not going to go over well if you keep freaking pushing it. Just just keep going. <laughs> I keep visualizing Barack Obama's face by your balls. Okay, okay. Now it's getting... Uh, this is a family show. This is a family show. Now it's getting NC-17. Yeah. It was, it, that, that was a joke I would use when I was a telemarketer. I'd be like, hey, don't make me beat up your face with my balls. Okay. And then when people really pissed me off, I'd tell them that I would go down the chimney on Christmas, and I would fuck their wife. Yeah, but you know what? We but just, I got a wife now, so I can't just, say that We anymore. just saw Balls, Harry Balls, on a Netflix movie. Oh, my God. It was that Puerto Rican guy, that, that midget dude from uh, Carlito's Way. He always, you know, he's always hanging out with Adam Sandler. He's in anger management. You know, that little skeevy-looking Puerto Rican guy from, like, the Bronx and stuff. Yeah, it's in all those movies. Bangladeshi. Yeah, that motherfucker. He's probably George Lopez. Do it over on yeah, Netflix. Cousin, primo, whatever. Yeah, yeah, the balls were dripping on David Spade's, his sweaty balls while they were, like, tag-teaming some Italian slut. Yeah. That, uh, yo, Netflix is getting raunchy. Raunchy? I mean, I don't even know if it's safe enough to let the, the nephews or the kiddies watch no. it. You gotta, like, monitor that shit. You gotta shit. monitor for sure, man. They showed this woman with these, like, 22-inch-long in, 22 uh, titties. Some old, sagging-ass titties. <laughs> That's some of the going. most vile shit. That was taking me back to, like, the days of, like, Rotten.com. You remember that website, yeah. Rotten.com? Yeah. I remember I saw, like, a skinny guy balance, balancing himself on a fat chick with his dick. <laughs> and like supposedly Hitler's autopsy pictures and, uh, I don't know bunch of whatever it was crazy oh and then I saw this monkey get his head in a vice and they like blew his freaking oh brain oh my out. god I can't handle that shit uh, I think that was oh. face I, no that was faces, faces of, of death, death. I can't handle yeah, that shit. that's how old school I am ladies and gentlemen I used to call everyone gay and watch faces of death that's right anyway Let's go back to the lying fraud news that is M MSNBC and uh, CNN. Guess what? Guess what? MSNBC is saying that that all the Trump voters 
were motivated, motivated by their fears of brown people. Is that brown people in the desert or little illegals or both? I think that, that that's that's a bunch of uh, that's a bunch of hooey. I think you should stop with the hooey, right? Is that a bunch of hooey? Yeah. Uh, seriously, why are they so obsessed with race? Everything is race, 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 race. Last time I checked, Jack. Okay, humanity isn't part of of a race. We're we're either masculine or feminine. All right, and uh, you're either a man or a woman. You're not part of some fucking race. All right, you're part. Of, you're a human. You're a human being. A race is a, a dog. Like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna crossbreed this Shih Tzu with this bulldog. That, that's two races of dog. So they're getting the public to call themselves animals. Okay, even uh, under uh, this goes back to Roman common law. All right, I'll just go all the way back. Race, really? What are you talking about? Uh, you know, two two freaking Shih Tzus. Uh, I mean, what's going on here? But no, they, they keep pumping out their they live mind control signal to try to brainwash the public that that we're some freaking race and to get us obsessed with race. But nevertheless, Trump is battling and battling. He's a fighter, and uh, it wasn't just a parody. It's uh, it's like. It's really like, uh, like metaphysical. You know what I'm saying? That ass, that ass kick that he gave uh, Vince McMahon was like uh, the embodiment of what he's doing to the the fake press. That's hell bent on saying that they're the real press when in reality they're they're the corporate press. They're the George Soros, that tax dodging fuck. George Soros, who should start his his own baseball team, the Tax Dodgers. Huh? That's right. And uh, that 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 who that would be uh, the guy running the the freaking team, huh? George fucking Soros. So so what are they talking about? Uh, you know, complaining about Trump's tax records. It's unbelievable. All these Marxist, uh, loony bin, fucking left wing, nutty ass freaking liberals. And that's why Trump had to put on the mask. He had to put on the mask. But you know, at the end of the day. He, he himself is also part of a secret society. He's part of uh, the, the conservative Masonic branch of uh, Knights Malta. That's the thing. Look, that's how the powers that be operate. Now, they'll either, they'll either get you with, uh, you know, the nationalism or they'll throw in the communism. Uh, that, that's the thing. You should be against all isms. Anything that's is an ism, you know, is, is, is bad news. It's bad news, but uh, let's get into some more bad news here. Let's see. Uh, now he body slams CNN. Well, that's not bad news. That's good news. A uh, video of Trump's series of tweets on Saturday were renewed with his reinstatement where he called CNN fake. Uh, and the media is freaking out now. Look at this. Media freak out. ABC chief political analyst. Matthew Dowd claimed Trump is advocating violence. Oh, oh my God. Fucking pussy, Nancy boy. Uh, violence against media. And they demand that he step down. Uh, seriously, I'm just waiting for these networks to get canceled. Because, I mean, if you see the, the amount of hits that they even get on YouTube, I mean, it fails in comparison to what the alternative media is uh, getting. I mean, sooner or later, I, I'm going to be kicking MSNBC's ass. And you know I'm I'm one of the the littlest guys in alternative media, believe it or not. You know I I'm I need to get pumped up with some fucking steroids. You know what I'm saying? Like like all the 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 freaking luchadores. You know, punch me up with some some steroids so I could end up like uh, that one guy, that meathead. I forgot his name. Uh, Ryback. You know that guy? That guy was a beast. But yeah, look, they're, they're complaining. Complaining that that Trump is uh, the embodiment of of wrestling SmackDown. Trump's insult act comes from pro wrestling hype. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, the man's a showman. All right, he's got to entertain people. And how do you entertain uh, the the lowest common denominator? Okay, you uh, you give him beer and and you turn on wrestling. Yeah, you give him beer and you turn on wrestling. And I got nothing wrong with that. But uh, 
you know, you you got to seek to be an enlightened man as well. I mean, uh, you know, why read? Uh, why why just uh, watch? You know, mindless wrestling at times when you can read a Charles Fort book, or when you can find out that they've been lying to us about the goddamn Earth. They've been lying to us about the flat Earth. Okay, look at look at first of all, why is it that that NASA can't make up their mind as to what the Earth really looks like? You go I back, know. You go I back know. to nineteen seventy two. To 2015, I mean, look at all these pictures of the globe. You see that, uh, I mean, Mexico is like bigger than fucking South America. Uh, look at 2012, and then look at 1972, and not only did the United States double in size, but now Mexico is like as big as fucking uh, Africa. Right. Look it at just, that. You know, it never makes sense. It just doesn't make sense. And if you look... At the edges, you know, where it goes to the snow caps on either ends the po of the poles, it's very shady, okay? You just start looking at it and the sizes and shapes and the information that there, that's there is very blurry. And if they don't believe us, they can go and uh, research the Bible because guess what? They mentioned Flat Earth in there too. How so? Come on, just uh, you, what you want? Do I have a King James fucking Bible here? I know it. All right, come on, keep going. Well, I'm a Jew. I, don't, I never read that shit. Oh, I forgot about that. King James shit. You know, I don't really. It sounds like some Masonic shit. <laughs> That's what it is. Well, those well, are look, the people I'm doing, that run I'm doing the Illuminati triangle right now. Look, I'm I'm part of the Jesuits. The Jesuits. The Jesuits. No, I was at least raised part Jesuit. So what's with the uh, Bergoli? I mean, he's he's like what? He's you talking about my schlong? So he's he's temporary. You I know, said, or? hey, hey. I said schlong. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what's up with uh, Bergoglio? Yeah. In Spanish, that sounds like cock. I just want to let you know. <laughs> oh. Bergoglio, it's like... I'll just go ahead and say it. In Spanish, cock is verga. Oh, yeah, So, yeah. Bergoglio, you know. Bergoglio. Bon, bon oh, oh. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he... But he, there's nothing, there's no really real dirt on him like that. I mean, just the people that are around. You sure about that? Yeah. There hasn't been anything. He's kind of a friendly looking dude. He does, I heard, you know, what is this? He doesn't really want to be there. Didn't uh, Leo Zagame saying that he doesn't really want to be the Pope. We can't wait to go back to Argentina. That's right. And be right. a bouncer and bounce around and be a happy man. <laughs> Sounds like he's part of a, a, a house of pain, uh, freaking... Uh, <laughs> Jump around. Yeah, that's jump right. Around. Jump, jump up, jump, jump up, and get down. Uh, you know, he does have a tail to step on, okay? Because they're saying here that the Pope has a dark past as an agent of a U.S.-backed Argentine military junta that was also part of the desaparecidos that took all those little Sephardic Jew kids. Now, let me tell you something, folks. Okay, the last Pope didn't he look like a reptilian from hell? <laughs> he looked like a fucking reptilian from hell. Evil as fuck. Demon. And guess what? He was a Nazi youth. Yeah, he was a Nazi youth again. And where's this guy from? Berga. Bergalio. Yeah. Where's he from? Where's the cock boy from? He's from Argentina. Uh, the, the Dagon headed fuck is from Argentina. And guess what? Guess what? The Nazis went to Argentina. You see the connection? See, it's not a coincidence that the last popes have a Nazi connection. But I'm not some fucking liberal here just saying Nazi, Nazi, Nazi. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah, but you know, if they went to Argentina, and then if you look at the bottom of Argentina, you can see where the, the ends of the earth is. That's right, Antarctica's right there. So, you know, the Nazis... Uh, real close to where their experiments are, right? It's like a home base. Yeah. They use a their home own. away from home. Right. So they started off in one end. They made their way down to the bottom end. And they basically control everything. I mean, I don't know how they can possibly stop everyone from going out of bounds. But you would have, I mean... First of all, if I was on the sea, I, I certainly wouldn't want to be toward the ends of the earth. It's fucking cold as a, a witch's tit. 
It's cold as a witch's tit, but tough titty, all right, because uh, the military's out there, and they're not going to let you go out to the ends of the earth. They I wouldn't got, want to. They got that shit on lock. But I wouldn't want to, even if I was an explorer. Because... Well, anyway, CNN is going to keep telling us that the earth is round, and that Trump is a meanie because he gets two scoops of ice cream, and they're going to want us to believe whatever Billy D. Williams, a.k.a. Maxine Waters, says. <laughs> Okay, does she fucking look like Billy D. Williams? Is that Bill, the stupidest Billy thing to, to glom onto is his um, steak and ketchup and ice cream? I mean, it's, yeah. it's really weird. It shows that they're being petty and they have nothing on the dude. Nothing. They're just fucking jealous. They're jealous because he's so charismatic. He's so put together. Nothing fucking uh, bothers him. He's a, he's an iron freaking monster. Ironclad. Yeah, he's just like... Yeah, you can't fuck with me. I don't care. Ha <laughs> ha, you laugh well, metaphys face. Metaphysically, he is clotheslining the fake media. I mean, this is this is monumental. We've never had a president do this. I mean, it's like we're in a in another dimension, and we're act we actually have a chance at kicking the the liberal new world order's ass. Yeah. Okay, I mean, because look at this. Look how awful. The, the, the mainstream media's coverage of Trump is like this Harvard study. Oh, now it's like about 90% of the Trump coverage was negative during the first, uh, you know, what was it, uh, 70 days or 100 days yeah, of his presidency. It was like 80% of the, of the coverage was negative of Trump. And he has every right to lash back at them. Just because he lashes back and makes a joke, it shows you what pushes they are to start saying, you need to appear to be scraping. Yeah, right, like that's, why, that's why CNN journalists Ugh. are getting fired left and right for, ma for making up fake news, for uh, bullshitting about Russia. When it's got nothing to do with nothing. We work with them in fucking Moscow up in, in uh, trying to get out of the freaking flat earth and probably bypass the Van Allen belt and actually get into space. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. Anyway, folks, it's... Uh, the day before the 4th of July, and uh, North Korea is celebrating with fireworks. That's right, North Korea has fired a missile into the waters of Japan. Now, uh, I keep remembering that, that game, the Xbox, old school Xbox. I gotta buy it. Actually, I'm gonna, right after the show, I'm gonna get on eBay, I'm gonna buy it. Uh, it's a home front. And I've played the intro before where Hillary Clinton is like, Again, this is what they wanted. They wanted like a uh, Pavlovian conditioning uh, to have us uh, have Hillary, like condition us to have Hillary in the, in the future and have us here in this situation where we're in this uh, quagmire with North Korea and Japan actually surrenders. Well, this, this could actually take place, but thank God it's not with Hillary Clinton as the president. You know, I wake up every morning and I seriously, I stretch. I go, yeah. you know, I stretch real, real big. I stretch the the big pythons, and and I thank God that Hillary Clinton isn't president. I mean, I don't think I could fucking handle the 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 woman's awful god, just god awful voice. It's like nails on a chalkboard to me. But regardless, North Korea firing missiles off the waters of Japan. They've been conditioning us to be at this point with North Korea. Now, maybe two or three years ago, about two years ago, they had, they had that story that Kim Jong-un went missing and that blah, 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 and then the, his sister was going to take over. I, I seriously don't know. It, it could be like a clone. I mean, think about it. Or, or a hologram. I mean, they had that Tupac hologram in Coachella, right? I mean, who knows? Maybe they got some really good fucking holograms. Now, it's 2017 after all. So, what if they have a hologram of Kim Jong Dong and the CIA is running North Korea? Because let's face it, let's go back in history, folks. Operation Ajax, where they took out Mossadegh, huh? In Iran, the CIA was behind that. The CIA was behind uh, taking out Chiang Kai Chek, huh? He's doing marvelous things for uh, for China, and they put in Mao, Mao Zedong, huh? Mao, who I believe probably killed more people than Hitler, he's like number two, and I think, uh, I don't know if he's, not, it's either, it's between, uh, and really, who did Hitler kill? I'm not trying to be a, a fucking uh, German sympathizer here, but let's go back to what I was talking about, the popes. They're, they, the Vatican, were the ones killing the Jews. It's the Vatican. The Vatican. The Vatican is the tip, uh, the very top of the freaking Illuminati pyramid. 
Okay? It's the Vatican. The Vatican, the Pope is the one who ordains what cousin fucking inbred fucking royal uh, marries, gets married. Okay? They're the ones that decide, you know, the whatever the, the royal family does. Okay? Because it's, it's, the, why do you think the Nazis had uh, the Iron Cross? Huh? Look at the Iron fucking Cross. It all goes, it all goes back to uh, Egyptian. Egyptian times. That's where the cross came from to begin with. But these guys are just high-level occultists. Uh, they're the ones running the show. The pedophilia network. The, the Vatican's behind it all. Now, they're saying that... I mean, they were saying in 2016 that Bergoglio, Pope Francis, was going to resign in 2016. But uh, you see, he's, he's quashing the whole Pizzagate thing. They're, they're silencing that. But... Maybe in 2017, when he goes to visit Argentina, maybe later on, and he's scheduled to visit Argentina this year, maybe in late 2017, uh, the Pope, the dope, who I uh, made art with his face once, I went in the bathroom and wiped my ass with a Rolling Stone cover of the Pope on it. And uh, it's pretty cool. Nice, nice art. If you ever want to buy it, just contact me at the Bruce Montalvo Show at gmail.com. I'll send you a, a nice uh, print of it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's who's running the show, folks. All right? The freaking Vatican. Okay? The Goyim at the Vatican that are putting on the, the little hats and they think they're Jews. Now, that's what they want you to think. Huh? So that you go on, you know, like in Scarface. Uh, who fucked over Scarface? Saddlebong. And what was he, right? He's a Jew connected to freaking guineas. Oh, that's the pizza, P2, P2 Lodge, Pizza Gate. Where's pizza from? Italy. You see who's running the show, Bob? You see who's running the freaking show? Anyway, it is the news, uh, rapid fire news here on the Bruce Montalvo Show, uh, July 3rd, 2017. Health bill faces resistance among GOP governors. Uh, a bunch of stupid morons. Stupid idiots over in New York City. I'm so glad I'm out of that liberal cesspit. These these stupid idiots are out there in the middle of the street holding up graves. Oh, Trump, uh, health care, or pre-existing conditions killed me. I mean, they're so stupid. Seriously, New Yorker, or New, just the art scene in New York, I mean, I want to wipe my ass with them. Just like I wipe my ass with the Pope's picture. It's just awful. Just God awful. The best, the best New York artist is my wife, Janine Gordon, period, the end. And uh, you see how much play she gets, right? Like she's actually getting a lot of play right now. She's, uh, where is she? I think she has, she has a show in New York. And she has a show in France. And she's selling some sexy pictures. Because you know how sexy she is. She could take the sexiest pictures. Sorry. Oh, and here she is. Yeah, sorry. Big sexy. <laughs> I am. Uh, I have two. I'm in a group show right now in New York on Lisp Bernard Street. It's called the Untitled Space, and you can uh, just check it out. You know, uh, go to my Facebook, Janine Gordon, at Jaja on Twitter. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I guess I at Jaja Twitter. on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, I saw. That's where I saw your. That's right. Stuff, huh? All right. So yeah, you can see. You, you can even buy it. You know. So right it's on. It's not for sale there. You know, offline. You can buy it. Right there, they have a website. So if you couldn't see it, you know, in 3D, you could just see all the images, and it's okay. It's my my photo looks great, you know, compared to everybody else's work. I mean, it's so, you know, Betty uh, Thompson. She she's pretty big. She has a lot of very sexual work, like close-ups of like perverted porn kind of things, but some dirty stuff. So we're gonna be. Uh, this is a family show, so we're sending our, our fans to look at uh, I don't some really smut. Give a fuck. <laughs> you we're know what? A family, family, show. family, we're not a family show. I watched fucking Netflix the other day, and I saw fucking hairy balls and saggy tits. You know who gives a fuck? <laughs> you know. <laughs> I just showed in my photo. It's just uh, some people. They were like this dominatrix. She was just like smoking a cigarette while the other girl was like sitting there waiting to get spanked. Wow. Yeah, but, you know, it was just, and it was all the psychedelic lighting that was like hitting. It was like kind of a good moment. Kind uh, of a good moment. She was yeah. wearing these uh, leopard 
panties. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, yeah, I know. You got a pair of those. They drive me wild. I know. That's right. I'm selling sex on here. Don't you dare say <laughs> Don't you I won't. dare say anything. Bruce put them on his head. Yeah, that's where I put them. I put them on my head. <laughs> put my underwear on Get it? Head my, my head. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, where are my dummies? I said head. Excuse me, head. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Those are my dummies. I know. They laugh. They, I don't have an audience. Right. You know, because I couldn't find one. Mm -hmm. So I make them laugh. Okay, that's good. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, what do you think of Trump's health care plan? You think he's going to pass it? I think so. I think he's going to clothesline them and get the health care out I there. I didn't pay too much attention. She didn't pay too much attention. All right, let's go back to the, the Tuscan Raiders, uh, the, the sand people in Saudi Arabia. That's right. Uh, Saudi Arabian allies give Qatar two more days to accept demands. You see, they're always, they're always giving people ultimatums and threatening to behead you. You know, last time I checked, Mohammed... It's just another word for Baphomet. Oh, yeah. You see how it rhymes? Muhammad, Baphomet? <laughs> Muhammad, Baphomet. It rhymes. It goes hand in hand. It almost it's, has the same amount of syllables. They're fucking evil. They're fucking evil. They're, you know, they're when hating I, slime. When I start hearing Arabs say that they like they, they don't hate Jews or they don't hate or Americans, you know, they just they just uh, appreciate who they are and that they're on Earth and they're and they're happy to be here and they want to make things and play play and be creative. But no, they gotta teach their kids to kill and hate and blame everyone. Yeah, for they're their like problems. they're like the Tuscan Raiders <sighs> from fucking Star Wars. <laughs> you know those freaking uh, crazy bastards, the Tuscan Raiders. You know they attacked uh, Luke and. Uh, what was it? They killed uh, Darth Vader's mom. Even the young, you know what? I know. I knew um, a guy from California, and he moved to Egypt. And even him. I gotta go to Egypt. Even anyway, yeah, even him, American uh, Egyptian. Even him says that all the, the, the Israel wants to take over the, the Egypt. Oh, where, where you get that from? That's fucking. That's a fucking lie. I mean, Israel has always been... Israel got kicked out of Egypt, okay? And last time I checked, Jack, it was freaking black people that were enslaving Jews, right? Because yeah. the Egyptians were black. But again, that's what they'll say. They're like, oh, yeah, well, the Egyptians were black civilized races. were well, more civilized than Europeans, nigga. Yeah, yeah, but you were enslaving yourselves. There's so right? much fear-mongering with these people that... They even believe their own fucking lies. There's no proof. They're the party of division. They're the party of hate. They're the, a religion of hate. I mean, they really are. They're just a, a ball of hate. At least Christian people, um, the like an average Christian person, person, they, they go to church or whatever where they believe in Jesus. I don't really care what they believe in as long as they believe in goodness. And a lot of Christianity does promote to be a good person. Could you believe that Barack Obama said this country was founded by Muslims? Oh, God. I mean, that is, that's got to be the stupidest fucking quote I ever heard. That one or uh, Alex Jones saying that Hollywood was run by Arabs. I don't know which quote is stupider. I want to love Arabs just because they're people, you know? Like, I have nothing... I never had... Growing up, I never had any real issues against them. But then when I started seeing and hearing... And, and knowing up front what they think of me as a being Jewish, it, it, it's so shocking, you know, that they can't even see me as a, a person for the most part. Oh, they do, and then they just, and they want to just rip up Israel. And like, if you look at, really, look at the Middle East, man. Israel is a tiny little speck surrounded by a bunch of fucking maniacs. Yeah. And it's really not cool. I mean, they... they it's almost like the Nazis... Planned that out on purpose to have Israel surrounded. Well, they had that quote that, uh, what was it? Uh, supposedly Hitler said that he left some Jews alive so that you could see why he wanted to kill him. So that, that's that's the type of crap that they force feed the palace idiots or the fake Estinians, as I call them, because they don't fucking exist. They're Iraqi, Lebanese, whatever the fuck from Jordan. So shut the fuck up about having. It's my land. It's my land. It's not your land, you you dirty, stinking towel monkey. All right? You have your own fucking land. It's called Jordan. Now get the hell out of Israel before I join the IDF and kill you myself. <laughs> 
It's like the littlest fucking country, and there's always been Jews there. There was always been there were Jews in Yemen and Iraq. I hear Benjamin Netanyahu clapping right now. He's like, oh, thank you, Bruce. We will, <laughs> we will consider your arrival to Israel. Yeah. And what uh, about what about speaking of uh, war and the army? What about what uh, Trump uh, talked about with your uh, little Latino Luis? Oh my goodness. Uh, Trump was giving a uh, a speech to veterans, right? And I was thinking to myself, you know, when I heard him say uh, Luis Ayala, I'm like, holy shit! Trump's like giving props to some uh, like a Latino dude, an American uh, Latino, right? Yeah. So then they pan to the guy, and he's like, I mean, he had a leg blown off. He had like two fingers blown off. Horrible. He looked retarded. So what I'm thinking is. If a uh, uh, American uh, Latino wants to be acknowledged by the president nowadays, they gotta like literally end up getting like nuked, blown up, blown to smithereens, and then maybe you get the president to give you a shout out. You know what? You know there are, are over forty Medal of Honor recipients that fought that were. It, it's like me. Like if I joined the military, I, I'm I'm a Latino, right? But uh, you know what? I'm American first and foremost. Uh, there are over over forty um, uh, Latinos. That fought for America and got the Medal of Honor. Okay, look, we have we have our our American Latino heroes. We don't need any more fucking burrito makers to come over here because they're a bunch of fucking communists and they're not like the old school guys like that. They're a bunch of commies. They everything's PC to them and and don't make a burrito because it's cultural reappropriation. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oh. I mean, they're fucking pussies nowadays. A bunch of pussy communist cockroaches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, you said it. But, uh. Yeah, it's just, it's, there's no heroes in war. Mm, and no, I, no, no. I don't think that the men should be on the ground anymore. I, I think that we're beyond that. And right, yeah, I think we should just uh, bring all the boys home. I mean, they don't got to end up like Luis Ayala. Uh, you know, you got drones. You got all this stuff. You want to nuke these freaking Tuscan sand monkey people, just, uh, you know, Tuscan raiders, a.k.a. fucking Arabs, you know, just uh, use drones. Yeah, it's, it's terrible. I mean... Why we got to use our own boys? Why you have to throw... Why yeah. don't they bring them home? Yeah, I agree. They shouldn't be... We shouldn't have to use them. I mean, they're spreading, they're spreading out... I mean, what, we've, what we've become is like the Empire from Star Wars... Uh, just like the Roman Empire, they're spreading out militarily, and that is when Rome fell because they couldn't, they couldn't cover all, all the, they couldn't just man all the positions they were in. We're still in Germany, Bruce. We're still in Okinawa. What the Okinawa. fuck are we doing there? We're still in Okinawa. We're in the Philippines right now. ISIS is in the Philippines. Can you believe that? Unbelievable! Just that a just what another about excuse for do a tete. Oh, that's right. Let's get into a boxing minute with Bruce Montalvo making his voice sound like Howard Cosell. That's right, Manny Pacquiao, Pac-Man, Manny Pacquiao got a fight taken away from him in Brisbane, Australia. No, seriously, he beat the shit out of this guy. <laughs> I mean, I could put it on right here so that you can see. I mean, he, he kicked this dude's ass. He was, like, pounding him. In the ninth round, you can see he's he's giving it to the guy. He's, get, he, he's punching the dude. He Look at him, look at him. Look at that right there. You see him? You see nice him? right, nice left. Nice right, nice. Look duck, at that. Good look, duck. Look at that. How did Manny Pacquiao nice lose this fight? Look at Right in the head. Okay. Well, not, another, another swing. Look at him. Look at him. him again. Look at him punching this guy oh silly. My. Left and oh. right, left and right, so left and right. Look at him. How Guys hugging him. Well, he's tired now. Know, but know. look, 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 look. Manny Pacquiao beat the fuck out of this guy, Horn. I mean, it was evident. Even even Kobe Bryant tweeted like a picture of Ice Cube going, huh? Like totally stoned from Friday. Like, <laughs> like what? Really? 111, 118? So, uh, yeah, I caught that fight. And uh, what a robbery. Yeah. It's a freaking highway robbery. I mean, it was worse than having the Russian judge give you like a, a seven after you did like a... A freaking ultra somersault, little mm -hmm. marionette, whatever the hell, Olympic style jump and shit. And the Russian judge gives you like a like a five. Everybody else gave you a nine, a nine point five, and the the Russian judge gives you a five. <laughs> but that's fake news. Anyway, yeah, uh, yeah, Manny got robbed. That that's right. And uh, and if you're in the Philippines, you're gonna get robbed 
possibly of your life from Duartete because they got martial law over there. Uh, Manny Pacquiao, he's got to stop boxing. That's probably why they took the fight from him because they're like, hey, uh, why are you boxing? Why don't you become president instead? Why don't you box Duartete, you big pussy? Yeah. Huh? Stop being a big pussy, Manny Pacquiao, and, and, and fight for your country. Because right? you can't sing. We know that. And your fighting ability is... It's being taken away from you, actually, because you kicked this guy's ass. So maybe it's a sign from God that they want him to uh, fight for the Philippines now. He's a pretty good guy. He actually went out there and he, he used his money to uh, uh, house a lot of the indigenous Filipino people that are, like, living out in huts and stuff. He bought them, like, little Agenda 21-style housing. Amazing. I mean, he's not a bad guy. He's an so, awesome uh, guy. So I, I think that's yeah. his next fight has to be against that bakla. Uh, freaking bakla means uh, just look it up, all right? It means Nancy boy, all right? Your PC police. He's got to fight the bakla uh, Duarte. I don't, I don't even know how to say his name. I don't really Duarte. 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 No. Fucking who cares? Who cares? It's fucking they're really the trash of like the of Asians. I just feel really bad because you know my friend Jay Hunt's over there, and uh, I told him to get the. Fuck He's out. like the biggest thing since sliced bread over there. He's going around, and there's such pussies over there. Your, your, your homeboy, Jehan, I love his steal the phone right out of the hand routine. I mean, people are like, Duh, I have my iPhone in my head. Oh, now I don't. Jehan took it. <laughs> he like, and then the sound effect he uses to snatch the phone, it's hysterical. You got to check this guy out. He's in your more Chiba Chiba video, right? Yeah, well, he, on he, YouTube. he helped me film it. He yeah, you guys 90, are like blazing 90, out. 90% of it. That's right. That's yeah, very funny Chiba. guy, very funny rapper. But he he met some Filipino chick, got married, lives there with his babies, and I got his boy Mike Swift, and he's running around with his little crew. And uh, actually, he's Muslim. He's he's Turkish Muslim. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, now he's from Brooklyn. Grew up his whole life. Had a million Jewish friends. He's one dude that never had a fucking issue about. Uh, Jews, yeah, not like these one, fucking Jews Tuscan or raiders it, or uh, Saudi Arabians, right? Or even just idiots. You know, like, I, I just think that people just should just wake up, get along, and just shut the fuck up. Stop hating on people for who they are, what they are. Like, they're so apoplectic Ugh. over Trump. I mean, seriously. I mean, seriously. there's proof. Another one of my Muslim friends. I have nothing against Muslim. Nothing at all. I have a problem with certain Muslims attitudes and their idiotic fucking concepts of of the way things should be and are they just don't have grit a lot of them are just told so many false truths so many fallacies they have their imans preaching to them just uh just nonsense you know just nonsense let's get into uh my uh my meme of the day here i'm on talvo mondays it's in honor of the fourth of july you have uh a bald eagle looking at his own reflection on the ground. He says, "Who am I even? Really? That's that's what he, that's what it's become. You know, America's like you know, this bald eagle named America is like looking at his reflection, saying, "Who the hell am I now? You know, they they're trying to make me a communist. They're trying to make me everything I'm not." And he looks sad. He looks sad, folks. But uh, you know, I I hear that freedom train a coming, and it's going woo. Woo! Woo! Sounds like a big choo-choo train. And it's coming your way. Alright? Anyway, folks, we're uh, coming down to the end of uh, Monday Night MBN, the Bruce Montalvo Show on Mondays, because, you know, I, I'm i like a pent-up ball of freaking pent-up. You know, like... I, I just can't wait till Friday. I, I have to be on on Monday. Most of the time I'm working, I'm making the most beautiful, one of a kind. No, actually all the time. <laughs> not most of the time. Like, this motherfucker, he works most of the time? No, I work all the time. When I'm not broadcasting, all the time, I'm working all the time on some of the most beautiful, one of a kind, unique jewelry you can imagine. And if you go to Facebook, at Antique Obsessions, at Conceptual Co at conceptual subculture, that's a mouthful, but you can still type it into your computer. Go to Facebook at conceptual subculture at antique obsessions. Click like, and you'll find links to some of the most beautiful jewelry out there. I mean, 
everything from solid sterling silver, uh, earrings, I mean, you name it. I mean, uh, we got some, uh, we always got some specials going on. I mean, uh, come over here, Jaja, and tell them about it before we uh, sign off. Let them know where they can buy, how they can buy, and how they can support the show and uh, buy beautiful jewelry. You can go to Etsy.com slash shop slash Antique Obsessions or Etsy.com slash shop slash Conceptual Subculture or just go to Google and type in Conceptual Subculture, one word, uh, or even two. I'm sure our site will come up and uh, or Antique Obsessions. And we have... Um, Really, really cool jewelry. I just put up like 50 new things. We have beaded bracelets. We have necklaces, gemstones. I have chrysocolla, chrysoprasse, uh, emeralds, rubies. I got ruby rings, Peruvian opal rings. We just made some wire wrapped sterling rings and beautiful Manasa, genuine Manasa turquoise uh, uh, gemstone uh, with copper. Big, huge Wonder Woman type bracelets. And I have huge. Incredible. Even, even silver plate on the Antique Obsessions you could find, and solid sterling. You know, the sterling, the solid sterling antiques are a little bit more expensive, but you could find stuff in our store that's pretty reasonable. You know, we have sales all the Fun, time. Fun, uh, bohemian, uh, rococo, all those nice words you throw out there, right? Right, and by tonight I think I'm going to have a 50% off sale for, for the July 4th. For the 4th of July, yeah. right. That's awesome. Now we got a minute left. Uh, Jaja and I are planning to vacation in Puerto Rico. 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 Okay, that's enough of that. What am I gonna order? Fucking arroz and candules. That's all I need to know. Yeah, we're gonna go there. Yeah. Yo, we're feeling sexy, and uh, you know, Healthy. yeah, I'm gonna wear like a freaking yellow freaking uh, speedo. I can't wait. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna look like Hulk Hogan in a yellow fucking speedo. That's that's what yellow. I look like. Huh? That's right. I don't know. I'm just feeling the yellow speedo in Puerto Rico. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Monday nights just got a hell of a lot better with me, Bruce Montalvo, and <laughs> she's here today, Jaja. Yes. She'll be here tomorrow. She'll be here on Friday, right? You'll be here on Friday? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You see, well, she's on Friday. You have a hearing on Friday. Oh, that's right. Uh, I, I'm i going to kick my freaking mother's ass. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to deport her out of this country my damn self. I'm going to take my kid back. Because, you know, y'all you, been hearing me complain about uh, how I had my kid kidnapped. Well, guess what? I'm a fighter, and I'm going to fight, all right, for my children. My children are going to be just freaking uh, kept away from their father for six months by some crazy fucking lady that's got spider hair and speaks no English. That's you know right. what I'm saying? That's right. Who she thinks she is? Anyway, folks, you've been listening to Monday Night Montalvo. hope you have a happy and safe 4th of July. And uh, don't blow your fucking hands off with any fireworks. And don't drink and drive, please. No, don't think, don't don't drink and drive. And don't if you got and any free, and you've got any weed, just send it to us. Yeah, that's right. I need to roll a <laughs> blunt right now. If you got any weed dealers over here in Tucson, holler at us. I right? we, we don't know where that as uh, like uh, Jeff Sessions is uh, <laughs> listening to us right now. MIA. And Obama too. <laughs> anyway, fuck those guys. But you guys are cool. See you Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Mountain Time. See you guys later.